Hi everybody, Happy New Year. I want to thank all the subscribers to the channel. Um, this is a very big uh, encouragement to continue with the training videos. So I will try to make one video every week on a topic. So if you have a topic that is interesting for you, just leave me a message and I'm going to check if it's a functional topic, I may make a video about this. Today we will see how you can use Evernote to backup your web page. There is no versioning system in Odoo, so when you do a change it is immediately available. The problem is the moment you have saved you cannot go back to what you used to have. There will be a versioning system coming out soon, sometimes um, in spring, but in the meantime you may have to face the situation that you still want to keep information about what you used to have in the web page. The way I am using is through a software that is called Evernote. It is free of use and it keeps all the information on a web. So I have installed an Evernote extension for my browser. It exists for all the browsers, all the main browsers. It creates here a small icon that means click to Evernote. So if I want to make a change to this web page before doing the change, I would click on this button and the system is going to tell me what do I want to click. I will always do the full page. If you look, if I do article, you see I just have the one part of this the whole web page, but I may also want to keep the, the, the lower part. If I click on simplified article, the system is gonna just take the text, simplify it, just to be able to read. And you see also the whole bottom is not there. For this reason, I choose the full page and the system is going to take everything I have in my web page. So after this, I press save. It is automatically setting this in your Evernote uh, notebooks, in the standard notebooks that you have defined. So when it's done, you can go to your Evernote and see how it looks like. Sometimes you need a few seconds to see this appear. And if you have this locally, of course, you may want to synchronize before it appears. And here you see, here it is. But it is not yet done. You are not yet finished because you would like to keep a version of the system. So what you can do is add a tag. And here I tag the version January 2015 first. So I'm going to copy this information for later purposes. So now I have this one page. But I have three pages on my web page. So I will go back and I will go to the news. I can do exactly the same. I'm going to save it. And I want to keep the contact page maybe. And I can save it. Once it is saved, here, I will add to the other note also the same tag. This was the reason why I copied it. And now, if I'm searching for something, 
I can just search for my version and you see all the three pages are appearing here. This was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to have a look at Odoo, visit our webpage www.linosas.ybioservices.net Thank you.